Hello, this is Daniel Please, my name is Daniel, and welcome to yet another Minecraft video. So in this video, we are going to be taking a look at the best settings for Minecraft. You know, you probably should watch to the end of this video if you want to get more FPS in Minecraft, reduce lag, and just get rid of those awful lag spikes, you know? Now, I do hear you say, why don't you just go ahead and install Optifine? Well, I know I can do that, but I will probably make a separate video on that because some people find it pretty hard to install Optifine. For now, we are just going to be taking a look at vanilla Minecraft and just going to be adjusting the normal Minecraft video settings. But before we get into that, I just need to show you a couple of screenshots of people that actually shared screenshots of their Minecraft character wearing the turtle shell. If you also want to be featured in one of my videos, just take a screenshot in Minecraft of your Minecraft character wearing a turtle shell just like I am right now. Send them to me over on Twitter or Instagram or just post them with hashtag DanielPlays and I will find them. So in this video, we are going to be taking a look at Minecraft's video settings and we're going to try to optimize them for the best FPS possible. To get into your video settings, you just hit escape, you go into options and then click video settings. Now my video settings are actually set to probably the worst you could have and therefore we are going to be optimizing my settings. Besides that, I will also just tell you what each setting does real quick and also whether it's really important or whether you can kind of see if it still works for you if you have it enabled. So we're going to start off with the graphics option. It's currently set to fancy and what this will do is, for example, make leaves transparent so you can actually see through them. Now this will take more FPS because Minecraft also has to render anything that you can see through the leaves. So by setting graphics to fast, you see that leaves are no longer transparent. It may look a little bit different, but you will get more FPS if you set Minecraft graphics to fast. For smooth lighting, that's pretty much the same. There's an option called maximum, there's an option called off, which will look really weird, and there's an option called minimum. Now, if you are getting very, very few FPS, then setting it to maximum won't make a lot of sense. Turning it off doesn't really make a lot of sense either because it will look really weird, but if you really need the FPS, be sure to turn it off because with minimum, you still have some smooth lighting, which means you will still lose some FPS. So if you want the best settings, just set it to off. And then there's this setting that's really tricky. That's called V-Sync. You may think it's good to turn it on. Well, no, there's no excuse for V-Sync. Never use V-Sync. V-Sync means that you will never get more FPS than your monitor can show you. So even if you have a high-end computer and you can run Minecraft with over a thousand FPS, you're not going to see that, you're not going to get that. You're probably not going to get more than 60 FPS if you have a 60 Hertz monitor. So make sure to always disable VSync. Then the next option, this one really, really doesn't do anything. It just resizes the GUI. And for the sake of this video, it's actually better to set it to three because then it will be a lot more clear what I'm doing. The next setting is also one of those settings that doesn't really do much. It's called brightness and all that it will do is make Minecraft look a little more bright. Just like that, this is really bright, I think. And also with smooth lighting disabled, this looks really weird. I typically set it to moody, which will make it a little more dark in Minecraft, but also a little more realistic in my opinion, as far as Minecraft can be realistic. And then there's the setting called full screen. Now what this setting obviously does is set Minecraft to full screen, but what it also does is it means that your computer does not have to think about what's in the back of Minecraft anymore. Instead of having it run in a window where you can also see like your browser in the back and maybe some music that you're playing, you'll still be able to hear the music, but your computer does not have to think about actually running Spotify, for example, or YouTube or Google Chrome, whatever. The next setting is mipmap levels, and I'm not too sure about this setting. I mean, I am sure about this setting because I know what it kind of does, but I've never seen any improvement when turning it off. But that might be different for you. 
So what you can do is turn map, lab, map, map levels all the way down to off and just see what it does for you. So what it is going to do is it's going to make stuff that's farther away from you a lot more, well, grainy, I would say. It's almost like there's some sort of film grain over it. I personally think it looks a little weird and because I also don't get more FPS when I turn it off, I never turn it off. But of course, turning something off is probably always a little bit better for your FPS than having it enabled because it's just something that your game doesn't have to think about anymore. Now the next setting is pretty interesting. Um, I'm going to demonstrate how this works real quick because I'm in the perfect place to do so. Look at the water in this frozen ocean. You can clearly see that it's kind of a darker blue. It's clearly a darker blue. But when we get back to the warm ocean here, you can see that it's a lighter blue. And now you can barely see the transition between those two biomes, between the two seas. But if you turn biome blend off or just set it to something really low, you are going to see very clearly which block is warm ocean and which block is frozen ocean. So here you can see the direct line, but what this is going to give you is more FPS because this is something Minecraft doesn't have to think about. It doesn't have to think about the transition from a warm ocean to a frozen ocean. The same goes for when you're in a savanna that is uh, adjacent to, for example, a jungle, then the grass color is going to be different. So Minecraft will make the grass colors blend. Okay, so next up is probably the most important setting in Minecraft, and that is render distance. If you have this set to something really high, you're literally telling Minecraft to render 16 chunks away from you to each and every side. So what this means is that if I am here, right here on this block that is right below me when I completely look down, 16 chunks ahead of me will be rendered. And as you can see, that is quite a lot. That really is quite a lot. So that's going to be very demanding on your computer. So what you want to try and do is get this to something like four if you're having really, really bad FPS. Setting your chunk render distance to something like four will reduce the distance that you can see. But on the other hand, it is going to make the game run very, very smoothly because it barely has to load anything. If you're still experiencing a lot of lag, you can also try to set this to two, which I'm going to do for this video because I want to get you an overview of the best settings that you can set it to. But two is very, very limited and you can barely see anything if you're playing with two chunk render distance. So the next setting max frame rate is not going to help your frame rate a lot, but it is going to help the amount of frames that will be shown to you a lot. So you should always set this to unlimited. There's no excuse not to set it to unlimited. There's no way it's better to set it to 10 FPS or 60. Just always set it to unlimited. Now the next setting is called view bobbing. And what this does is it enables a realistic walking animation. But of course, turning things off is probably always better if you need that extra FPS. So you can turn it off and then walking will be very boring, very straight, as if you were in a minecart, just completely straight. Now the attack indicator, this one really doesn't matter because it's a, it's just a matter of preference. This is where the attack indicator, indicator is shown. It can either be on your crosshair or in your hotbar or just completely turned off. But this thing really doesn't do anything helpful when turned off. So the next setting is called clouds and all this does is it changes the way the clouds look or it completely disables them. So for this I am going to turn up the render distance back up to 8 chunks because if I don't do that, we won't even be able to see the clouds, but they are currently 3D. As you can see, they are little cubes. It's pretty clear, right? So what you can also set the cloud setting to is fast, which will make them flat and already make Minecraft run a little bit better because it doesn't have to think about 3D clouds. But if you're still having bad FPS, of course, just completely disable the clouds. So the next setting is called particles, which is currently set to all, which means that you'll just see all the particles. And sometimes when you hop onto a server, you probably recognize this. They have a really cool spawn area, but with a lot of particles like fire particles or firework particles, 
And even though you want to enjoy how beautiful that spawn looks, you barely can because your game just runs terribly bad. So what you can do then is set it to decreased, which sometimes already helps a lot, but if that doesn't help, then set it to minimal. You cannot turn them off, but you can set it to minimal, and that will already help a lot. Now the next setting is also pretty straightforward, it is just entity shadows, and what this does is when I drop my turtle shell flirt, for example, it has a bit of shadow underneath it. You can clearly see that, but of course, shadows are always pretty demanding on your game, on your system also. So just disable shadows if you want the most FPS. Now that is pretty much it. That's pretty much it. There's one more thing that you can do. I'm not going to show you the actual result of that in this video because it will not really work very well with my recording software. But this full screen resolution option means that currently your full screen resolution is the best resolution you can get on your screen. What you can also do is instead of 1080p, which is my screen, set it to 720p. It means you're playing on 720p, but it's being stretched out, in my case, to 1080p. It's going to look bad, but it is going to run buttery smooth. And if that doesn't even work, then you can also set it to the bare minimum of 720 to 400. And that's really bad. That's going to look really bad also. but it might just do the trick for you if you need those extra FPS. So if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Let me know down below in the comments because I am very curious how many FPS you managed to get with the help of this video. If it's actually improved by a lot, I would really love to know. Also, be sure to share your screenshots of your Minecraft character wearing the turtle shell in Minecraft. Hashtag Daniel plays over on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will of course catch you in the next one. See ya!